morning students and scholars here i am dr amjad ali in this video we will learn national income where it comes from and where it goes dear scholar the most important macroeconomic variable is gross domestic product gdp gdp measures uh, both a nation's total output of of goods and services and its total income to appreciate the importance of gdp one need only take a quick look at international data compared with their poorer counterpart nations with a high level of gdp per capita have everything uh, from better childhood nutrition to more televisions per household a large gdp does not reflect that all of uh, nation citizens are happy but it may be Uh, the best receipt for uh, happiness that macro economists have to offer there are some main questions of macro economics while discussing national income where it comes from and where it goes uh, how much uh, do the household in the economy produce what determines our nation's total income who gets the income from production how much goes to compensate workers and how much goes to compensate owners of capital and who buys the output of the economy how much do household purchase for consumption how much do the household and the firm purchase for investment and how much does the government buy for public purpose what equilibrates the demand for and supply of goods and services uh, what ensures that uh, uh, desired spending on consumption investment and government purchases equals the level of production okay to answer these question we must examine how the various parts of the economy interact we can say that how the various actors of the economy interact with one another a good place to start uh, is the circular flow diagram we have uh, discussed circular diagram in our previous video uh, where we have only two sector economy we have the firms and the household but here we have three sector economy we have um, household government and the firm at the same time so this uh, this diagram a uh, more accurately reflect uh, how real economy is function it shows the linkages uh, among the economic actors uh, household firms and the governments are the main actors here and in this uh, uh, circular diagram we uh, see that how uh, the money flow uh, among uh, these actors through the various markets in the economy so let's looks at uh, the flow of money from view point of these economic actors we start from the household household receives income and uses it to pay taxes to the government and to consume uh, goods and services uh, and to save through the financial market uh, firm receives by talking about the firm firm receives uh, uh, revenue from the sales of goods and services and use it to pay for the factor of production household and the firm both borrow in financial market to buy investment goods such as houses and factories the government receives uh, revenue uh, in the form of taxes uh, and use it to pay the government purchases government purchases Uh, any excess of uh, taxes over government spending is called the public saving which may be either positive or may, which may be either negative when we have the positive uh, <coughs> positive saving that is a budget surplus and when we have uh, uh, negative uh, government spending and government uh, revenue we can say that a budget deficit so Uh, this uh, reveal that uh, uh, the national income is distributed from where actually it comes from so this is all about uh, national income where it comes from and where it goes so see you with another video ciao